God bless everybody, man. I was just sitting here, you know, praying to God and just asking him, you know. Lord, just give me something to talk to the people about. And he brought me to Ephesians, Redemption in Christ. Blessed be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world, he chose us. Think about that. Before we were born, before you were in your mother's womb, before your mother and your father had sex, and that light happened at conception. He already knew us. Let that dawn on you. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestined, predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself. Wow. He knew us before we were even a twinkle in your father and mother's eye. He knew us. Let that dawn on you. Think about that. He knew us. The Alpha and the Omega, beginning and the end. That's man. Having predestined us to be adoption. Having predestined us to adoption as sons and daughters by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved he knew us our spiritual selves were in heaven with God before we were ever even the seed planted in the womb we were with God I think that's why we have that hole in our heart that we try to fill with all these other things sex drugs money women men um, fame notoriety video games motorcycles whatever it is your children whatever it is that whole is us wanting to be back with God in heaven wow in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself.
that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him in him also we have obtained an inheritance kingdom of heaven being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things all things good and the bad being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory all of this he already knew we already knew Christ we already knew God but we forgot because we were born into flesh our spirit already knew him our spirit already knew him that's why that hole in your heart when you find Jesus he feels it and then you know and then you know because Christ is home that's where home is all of this is temporary home Christ God predestined before the foundation of the earth he knew us we knew him <laughs> thank you Jesus in him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed now that you remember that we're spiritual and not just the physical flesh you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory Christ our praise our worship following Jesus command singing psalms and hymns and beautiful melodies to God because we already knew him we knew him before we knew our parents but you don't remember because we were born into a curse because of Adam and Eve Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so in love with God. I miss you, but I know you're here with me, and I thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for your revelation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Later on, 
Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is it? The exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. Or let me put it another way. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who remember and believe? According to the working of his mighty power. which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above the principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come see this heaven the heavens that were that that is above us now and the earth that is here now is going to be gone and there will be a new heaven and a new earth that is our permanent home the heaven that we have now is a temporary heaven where we wait until the new heaven and new earth are created Read Revelations, where John talks about, I've seen the new Jerusalem descending down from heaven. Man, God is so good. And he put all things <clears throat> under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all Jesus y'all think about that Ephesians 1 just go read Ephesians 1 and dig he knew us and we knew him before we were even born. He knows what you're going to do. He knows what you're going to say. He knows what you think. We know. God is so good. I love y'all, man. I was just digging and asked, and he, he gave me revelation. Y'all have a great night. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hey.